Emmanuel Mays, who will be having surgery on Tuesday. Deacon Henry Cook of the Corinth Baptist Church will be having surgery on Tuesday as well. And we thank God for the safe return of Mr. Ariel Davis. Amen. 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 The Golden Eagles will be attending the Barrett's baseball game on Thursday, April the 18th. There is a sign-up sheet in the vestry for those who will be attending. And please indicate if you will be riding the van or not. Those riding the van and others that will be driving and plan to follow the van, we will meet here at the church at 515. 515. And depart here at 530. 530. All right? We wish a happy birthday to all of those who were born in the month of April, to those who are celebrating anniversaries in the month of April. But then there's a group that's often overlooked. Those who have finalized abortion or separation in the month of April. I know that some of you may be happy about that.
that you experience his power and his presence. Well, one thing is that he woke you up this morning. Two reasons is he woke you up this morning.
one day to the next. But I do know one thing. We can love. Don't come from nothing to love someone. To be kind. To someone. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come now. Thanking you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning. And starting us on our way. Thank you, Father, for these, these tithes and offerings that has been given this morning. In your name. Bless it, Father. Multiply it over and over again. May it be used to edify your kingdom. And Father, we'll be so careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. It is in your darling Son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Amen.
give God a hand of praise. Come on now, let's give a praise. If he's been good to you, let's give him a
We give God all the praise and the glory. Did you know they have the CIA? They have the FBI? But I got the HBI. What is it, Reverend? Heaven's Bureau of Investigation. What puts them on the case is when you get on your knees and talk with the Lord. When the Lord hears your prayers, He put the HBI on your on the deal. And He'll make a way out of no way. So I ask Reverend well, Ash to come now and lead us in the word of prayer. Let us pray. We know that Satan is busy. But God is still in control. He's in control of everything. The first thing the devil will do, he will stand at the church door and wait to come in. And he'll hold in on somebody. Somebody be standing around the altar and somebody be at the door and still don't have love in their hearts. The devil is busy, but you know what Jesus said on the cross? He said, it's finished. I've done what you asked me to do. It's finished. If he don't do, if he don't do nothing else, You've done enough. You've done enough. Let us pray. Oh, good and gracious Father, we come in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. First of all, we come to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. Father, you know the name of those that have been sick and gone under, under surgery. We ask you to bless them in a special way. And Lord, you know the one that they say they have lost their brother. Bless them in a special way. And Lord, we ask you to bless the Cole family in a special way. That's the one that you placed here to continue your work. Thank you. Thank you. And Lord, we can't say nothing but thank you. We don't even know how to pray. And Lord, we don't even know what to pray for. But Lord, I would say like David, pray to me a clean heart and a right spirit. So many times we will come to church with the wrong spirit of all. That was busy. But Lord God, thank you. Thank you for dying on the cross. Represent the whole world. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. 
show up. We as blood bought. Can't tell your neighbor, neighbor, I've been blood bought. We're blood bought sons and daughters of God. Have a divine assurance. Because watch what it says. The Lord is good. Do I have a witness? Yes, but, but we also have divine assistance. Because God is our stronghold in the day of trouble. In the text before us this morning, Nahum let us know that we have a present help in the time of trouble. And we must realize if God keep on waking us up here for that trouble will keep coming our way. Do I have a witness? But even when life begins to shift and sink because of trouble. Those of us who have been saved, those of us who are sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, know without the shadow of a doubt that God is our stronghold. In the day of trouble. For you do know that trouble will come. Turn to your neighbor and say, hold on, you're not in trouble now. Trouble is on the way. Job said, 14.1, that man is born of a woman. He is a few days and full of, which are full of trouble. John 16, 33 says that these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye may have, shall have tribulation. Which is to be a good thing. I have overcome the world. Y'all yeah. yeah. mind it quiet. Huh? Y'all yeah. mind it quiet today. Why, Reverend? Because if it ain't one thing, it's another. Some of you in here know what I'm talking about when you get your child straightened out. Then your marriage start falling apart. You get your marriage back on the right track, and your money start looking, not only looking, but acting funny. You get your finances back healthy, and then your health start breaking down. Somebody hear the word talking about. In other words, as long as we are in this sin sick world, there will be days of trouble. Do I have a witness? But thanks God, we have a hiding place. Do I have a witness? We have a place of refuge. However, we, we have a place that we can go and find peace. In times of trouble. And the reason why is because we are under the protecting presence yes. of a God that got all power in his hand. Do I have a witness? Yes, well, he, he, it's, it's like being under an umbrella. Yes. You see, an umbrella will not stop the rain. But the umbrella keeps the rain from falling on you. Do I have a witness? In other words, have you ever 
been in the situation that you didn't know how it was going to turn out. But God can. To your rescue. Put food on your table. Do I have a witness? Came in and rescued you. Made your enemies bless you and leave you alone. Have you ever wondered why you know they ain't anything, but they done tried everything to tear you down? You hold on, and God took care of you, and they, they, they somewhere fighting each other. Do I have a witness? He, he, he even protected you, provided for you, and not only that, but what y'all, he made a way out of nowhere. Now I'm talking to some saints. The truth of the matter is, he doesn't do anything else. I heard y'all say it. You already done it. I wonder, I, I wonder, is there anybody here this morning who can testify that he has already dried our tears? He's already written that name in the Lamb Book of Life. He's already, yeah, I could go home now. He's already saved us. I'm talking to some saved folk in the house. Do I have a witness? He saved us from eternal damnation. Already sent his Holy Spirit to comfort us. Do I have a witness? And if he don't do anything, yeah. Yeah. He's already. I said he's already done enough. That, that's why. Can I preach in this moment? That's why we are not just come to God's house when things are bad. But we are to come in times of good. And in times of bad. In other words, don't just come to pray God when the answer to your prayers can be seen. But you ought to come to pray God when the answer can't be seen. Do I have a way? Why, brother? Because real faith is believing God in advance of what we only make sense to reverse. But you said that again. Real faith is believing God in advance of what will only make sense in reverse. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. You don't have a job yet. But you're praising God like you already have. You have a witness. That faith in advance that only makes sense in Reverse. You, 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 you see, you might not have the promotion yet. You might not have the house yet. You may not have the car yet. But you come to God's house and praise Him like you already got. Do I have a witness? You need a church. We come dead. You have to pick us up. Pop us up. But you ought to just praise God for what He's already done. Yeah. No, nobody. Every preacher, every preacher. Should nobody have to pop you up? Maybe you shouldn't have to pray the organ to pop you up to get you all burning on me. You ought to burn anyhow because God. Walk you in this house today. And when you come in, the Bible said, let everything that has breath on the pray the Lord. You go out pray God like it ain't no tomorrow. You have a witness there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have to praise Him for what He has. All that is done for you. Tell your name, God is good for me. Now say it like you're ready to wait. Look your neighbor in the eye. Look him in the eye. Tell him like you're ready to wait. 
you for your means. Thank you, Lord, for what you all gave me. Ah, y'all still quiet. Some of you looking at your phone. Some of you got your mind somewhere else. But you all thank God right now for what he's already done for you.
He knows who you are. And, 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 and he knows who you are. As well as he knows what we can face and endure. He knows intimately, comprehensively, as well as completely. Well, I've got to go to my seat, but I stopped by to remind you this morning that if the Lord rocked you to sleep that night, yeah. if the Lord watched over you all, all, all my God, while you were asleep, early this morning, I said early, I said early, this morning, he woke you up and started you on another day journey. Allow us to see another Sunday morning, the second Sunday in April. He allowed us to be clothed in our right mind. We ought to put our holy hands together and thank God for being our soul. Tell your neighbor the Lord is my storm. In times of trouble, when the stock of troubles arrive, God will step in and make everything all right. But the reason we ought to thank you, and I'm on my way to be to call one side and on on a blood soaked cross. Oh, Calvary's mountain. Jesus died. Yes, Did he die? He died for your sin. He died for my sin. They placed him in a water too. But I'm glad that was not the end of the story. We called her that. I said her that. Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Hey, God, anybody can just tell your neighbor, hey, neighbor, hey, God, good. Tell your neighbor, say it loud, say, hey, God, good. Say, hey, God, good. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I don't know what you're going through, but hey, God, good. Thank you. 
pray for baptism. Come on, Christian experience. But we ask you to come. Today, anyone come today? Don't put it on. We love you here, God. We're not a perfect church, but we're a blessed church. To mm -hmm. anybody here today want to give your life to Him, we ask that you come right now. Let the church say, Amen. We're going to ask right now those of you in the back as we prepare for communion time. Those of you are in the back, come up to the front so we can serve you for the get ready for communion. Amen. We're going to ask those of you who are in the back, come on, we are with you. Come on up to the front. Come on up. Come on so we can give you communion. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask that to come give us. Give us a song while we go back and prepare for communion time. Amen.
let the church take that. We come at this time. Jesus said, do it often as you will. Whenever you do it, you do it in the remembrance of him. He died. The blood he shed, it was for me and for you. The broken body, the bread. By it, our God and our Father, it's once again that we come to you. We come, oh God, thanking you for another first Sunday. God, as we prepare now to do this in the remembrance of you, be with us, guide us, clean us up, make our hearts right, oh God. We invite you in. Do whatever you need to do to clean us. Wash us with your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
may not be able to get here, but Emmanuel is Tuesday morning. And Ernestine, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, Ernestine. Our classmate, she kept us together. And uh, she called everybody to keep everybody out. Class may pass away. Our sister Irene Carter, Irene Hawthorne, but her funeral will be Saturday at 11 o'clock at Pooh. Uh, so we're going to do, but, but then if you need me, I'm still there. Okay? We're going to do that. Amen. Any other announcements? Any visitors with us today? Amen. Any visitors? Good morning, everyone. My name is Corey Lewis, and I am a I'm glad to be here this morning. I'm a member of Faith Out Stopping in West End. And I remember when she was a little girl at West End High School. Is that right? I had a song. I'm getting old. Let us all sing together. 